വെൽക്കം ടു ക്യൂറി ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് ക്യൂക്ക് ബൈറ്റ് സീരീസ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സി ഹൗ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ദ ഇക്വലൻറ്റ് കെപ്പാസിറ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് എ കെപ്പാസിറ്റീവ് നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓഫ് ദ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ബ്രിഡ്ജ് ടൈപ്പ് സൊ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഗിവൺ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദ ഇക്വലൻറ്റ് കെപ്പാസിറ്റൻസ് എക്രോസ് എ ബി വിൽ ബി so we have to find the equivalent capacitance across a and b so what will be the capacitance across a and b options are given let's see how to solve it so this is the question given now a and b are marked let's mark the two other junctions also this is c this is d so now we have four junctions a c c d b let me draw the circuit so this is a i'll mark it as a b c and d now uh before okay we will name the capacitor so it will be easy to understand so let this let be c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 between a a and d c2 is connected between a and c c2 this is c2 c2 is connected between a and c c1 also c1 is connected across connected between a and d so this is c2 c1 and what else is there next is where c C3 is connected. C3 is connected between C and D. This is C3. What about C4? C4 is between C and B. This is C4. And finally C5 between D and B. so this is c5 now you are convinced it is a bridge it's like a vision bridge kind of connection it's a vision bridge made up of capacitors we can say so now we have to find the capacitance between a and b points before that see if we apply potential on a, a c now whether the bridge is balanced or not we have to check definitely the bridge is balanced how if we take the ratio of c5 upon c5 upon c1 equals we get c4 upon c2 because all values are 0.1 microfarad so we are going to get the 0.1 upon 0.1 microfarad so we will get 1 as the ratio so the the bridge is balanced when bridge is balanced what we do usually if it is a resistive network what we do we will remove the component connected here it is like a open circuit see now this c3 is just like a open circuit because if we apply potential across a and b the potential at d and potential at c is going to be same then there is no current flow through this c3 capacitor so 
it acts like a open circuit now we can redraw the equivalent circuit it be the a two capacitors that is c1 and c5 this is the b point and this is the a then just then parallel to it what is there c2 and c4 c2 c4 now we know the values this is a 0.1 microfarad this also 0.1 microfarad and c2 also 0.1 microfarad c4 also 0.1 microfarad now when two capacitors are in series what happens their value decreases so here two capacitors c1 and c5 are in series and equivalent c1 series with let me write it down c1 series with c2 so what do you get we get because it, these are same values then we will get 0.1 microfarad upon 2 so we will get 0.05 microfarad similarly for the next branch also c2 c4 branch also we get the no this is c5 okay c5 next next for the next branch c1 c2 c4 also we get the similar value that is we have 0 0.1 microfarad one more 0 0.1 microfarad that is which which branch is the down one C2 and C4. If we take the equivalent capacitance, C of T equal to what? 0 0.1 upon how many capacitors? 2. So we will get 0 0.05 microfarad. Now we have 2 0 0.05 capacitors connected in parallel between A and B. 0.05 so when two capacitor and series and uh, when two capacitors connected in parallel what happens the capacitance get added so we will get this is a b so finally c equivalent equal to what we get 0 0.05 multiplied by 2 so we will get 0.1 microfarad so 0.1 microfarad is the answer for this question and once you know the Wiesel bridge concept it is very easy you have to check the arms ratio if the ratio comes equal the in the center the galvanometer connection where we make in Wiesel bridge similarly c3 we can make it open then it becomes very simple to simplify so the what is the answer for this question it is 0 0.1 microfarad if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button thanks for watching